Hello, welcome to Let's Play, Remember Me, and we have a arena fight of some sort coming up. Hmm. Okay, that's odd. And Ah, okay. New combo. Uh not seeing it. Maybe that's part of the glitch. A part part of the whatever whatever it is we're going up against. I'm going to say that these... The, ah! This is intrusion countermeasures! Nice! I hope this isn't a one-off thing. I actually kind of like this. Ah, one more with a riot shield. It's take, uh, it takes our normal super moves away. As far as our... Uh, our... Um, Espressions. So, consequently, we don't need to do cooldown moves as much as we just need to do damage moves. And healing moves when we lose health. Unfortunately, we don't get any XP for beating those guys. Oh crap. Well, lady, you're just gonna make a nuisance of yourself, aren't you? Well, nowhere to go but into the trap. I can't help but sense an Ilsa she-wolf she -wolf of the SS thing from her in terms of abusing mentally, psychologically, and physically, and sexually all of her, um, all of her inmates. Il suffit de chercher. Vos petits jeux ne me font pas peur, madame. Ça viendra, ma petite. Ça viendra. And this gets into what is thus far the biggest boss fight in the game. This is actually probably going to be split into two episodes. Maybe. Yeah, it's going to be split into two episodes. It'd be nice if they did something here to um, the loading screens to mess with us in the same way that um, they mess with our perception of the game in the uh, with the remembranes. But yeah, um, not as much exploration here as I'd like. One minus for this is this route is very straightforward and no real opportunities to explore the environment. Be nice to have different routes we could take here. That's a nice bit too. Getting a little Philip Glass with the score here. Koyan is Katsi. Well, this time we now have our espresso in this because we, we know what we're getting into. I guess. Alright, so let's try out Fury. So, shoot you, and do a combo on you. Let's 
So basically the game only really lets you do one combo on her. Do completion before it wears down. But in order to do some, which leads to a bit of a tricky situation. The only way to do really enough damage to do some good is to use an, to use a combo. Because each hit in the combo steps up the damage. So instead, what you have to do is, is try to do the longest combo you possibly can on her. So what I so I think all right. So this is here point point where I figure out oh all right. So sense and fury okay. So sense and fury is actually too short for you to do anything really substantial on her. Now she starts teleporting around while the guards come after you. The DLS takes out her guards so and brings her down so you can hit her. But now so now the trick of it here is you want to do a fast cooldown. Or do you want to speed up the cooldown because because you want to get to her to do more damage to her. Yeah, because you see she's teleporting around too much to actually um, take a shot at her. So basically, there's a lot of buying for time here, because of the combos we have, the ones that are really useful are Fury, DOS, and the Logic Bomb. So again, like before, she's teleporting around just enough they can't really get a good shot at her with the logic bomb. So I we'll have to use the furious person again. But there's not enough enemies attacking me here. To use the new uh, attacks to decrease the cooldown. Eventually, she spawns some enemies in. He of using the healing combos and the cooldown combos to drop things down so I can go into hit on these schmucks. Actually, what we probably could have done here is probably put a logic bomb on one of these guys. Except, except for the fact that she now goes back to bomb attacks. So I'm doing a lot of flipping around here, and I later on learn, if I didn't it out here, because I'm still on the do the dodge attacks to dodge thing, is that just running, unless you're like one right on you, is the easiest way to evade these attacks. All right. All right. So I've got the uh, you know what? 
the uh, denial of service attack fresh and available. So now I just need to you get this point where use it, and then find her. The other th general thing is, once you find a combo, just stick with it. Uh, part of this, though, is once you find a combo, stick with it. If your if the system decides, oh, you should be doing this, oh, you're do you're trying to do this combo, your only real option is to just do that combo, because that way it does more damage than just sitting there and trying to, to get the trick the system into doing the correct combo again. I'll say for all this game's role-playing elements, I do kind of wish that they'd had a actual that they'd had you know gear you could equip. Because being able to equip something to decrease my combos well, while I'm cooldown time would be really nice. Now Fury doesn't actually help me here because what I really want is cooldown stuff, but it buys me breathing room. So yeah, just, just unless there's a bomb about to be dropped on you, just run. Don't roll, just run. Alright, so... There we go. So like, that one combo took me from about like 40 seconds remaining to... with to less than 10. I think actually the actual six hit in here. Nope. Well, the biggest frustration about this whole thing is all these little minions you keep spawning who you don't take out, um, who you can take out, they don't give it EXP. If, I mean, yes, it would kind of be abusive to just keep going through this boss fight and grinding. But honestly, I'd rather grind, just sit here and grind, get EXP, than get restrained later, constrained later on, because the game isn't spawning enough enemies for me. Alright, so yeah, I just triggered Fury, and she basically immediately recalled all her enemies, so, her, her minions. So the other thing here is, she is, Fury is helpful, but it comes to a point in this fight where it doesn't help you as much as other attacks are, would be. I have 18, 28 seconds until... Hit the knife. The DOS attack again. Ah, right next to me. Nice. Come on. Ah. Never quite hit the full hit. Three hit. Um, six hit combo here. There, I got it. Got a little bit of XP out of it too. And uh, let's let's check the com let's just adjust the combos again. So what I'm gonna do. Is that second combo there is a linker, and it boosts the effect of whatever thing is currently set up for it. So what we'll do is we're going to swap the healing combo, well, the healing hit, and the recharge hit, and so that way this should help me recharge faster. Now the other combo is available here, and I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to grab this some more next time. Um, what I want to do is cannibalize some of those other combos. 
and just build that one up because longer combos are better both in terms of XP and damage dealt. But we'll deal with this some more next time. I'll catch you then.